We're hearing now from a woman speaking out after being told her motorized scooter is no longer welcome in the drive through at her local coffee shop. The woman has mobility issues and says this scooter gives her the freedom to do things on her own. CTV's Ashley Blackford with her story. Like many Maritimers, Linda Frazier enjoys her coffee, but she says getting her daily cup of joe is now being made more difficult. Last Wednesday I came through, like always, to get my coffee. And depends whether I get a French vanilla, a nice cap, or a normal coffee. And when I got to the window, they took my order at the order box. I got to the window, and a young fellow came over to the window and told me that his boss told hit them to tell me that I couldn't use the drive through anymore. Frazier uses a motorized scooter to get around and for the past seven years she's been coming through this location's drive through without issue. There's been never any issues or any incidents or episodes. And that's what he had said too, that she didn't want to have an incident. The store's manager declined to comment, but the media relations team responded by saying, the safety of our guests is our utmost priority. Therefore, only vehicles licensed under the relevant motor vehicle legislation can be served at our drive through This restaurant location is fully wheelchair accessible. Frazier says with the doors being narrow, it's too hard to navigate her scooter inside the restaurant. Parking her scooter and walking in isn't an option because Frazier says she needs a walker to get around. A lot of my friends come here for coffee and stuff, and we all meet up here and we all sit along the wall there and have our coffee. We have a great time chit-chatting that. And it's just, it breaks my heart that I can't go there. It really does. It's not fair, not after seven years of doing it. It's, it, they're taking away her independence. Peter Allward is Frazier's brother. He now has to go inside for her to get a coffee. Well, personally, I was devastated because uh, considering I know that like when she first got her scooter seven years ago that she's been coming here on a on a weekly basis. Like she's here three, four times a week, every week. Like also from the spring right up until late fall until the snow starts. Frazier parks her scooter once the snow starts to fly. So she's hoping the company will reconsider so she can keep her freedom for the rest of fall. Ashley Blackford, CTV News, St. John.